guys? So right now I'm on my way to go see uh, Hippocampus at Stage AE. Uh, they're my favorite band currently, and they're they're easily in my top five favorite favorite artists of all time. And their album Landmark is 100% like in my top three albums of all time. It's that good. I listen to it all the time. Good mood, bad mood, somewhere in the middle mood. I'll listen to that album, and it always just makes me feel better. And and I'm so excited to see these guys. This will be my third time. The first couple times we're in Missoula, Montana. That's why I'm repping uh, the sweatshirt here. Hopefully they recognize it. You know, they might give me a shout out for Montana because uh, the first time I saw them, both times actually was in the Top Hat Lounge in Missoula, which shout out, still one of my favorite venues of all time. But the first time, it was one of those shows. It's like you don't need a ticket ahead of time. You just show up with a five dollar bill, and you know you get in, and it's just like a head count kind of thing. But now that I'm seeing them at Stage AE a couple years later, they've really like blown up. And so now I think the tickets were $30, but your boy paid the extra money, treated myself to a little something nice. I got the VIP thing, so it was $100. It sounds crazy, but it was 100% worth it because in an hour, they're doing a like an exclusive acoustic VIP only set. So only the people that bought these tickets can see this like shortened set of you know specific songs that they might not play during the main show. Also, you get a meet and greet, so you actually get to shake their hands, take a picture. They're going to sign autographs and things. I'm very excited about that. I've never actually met them, even though, like I said, I've seen them twice, both in a smaller club where I actually had a chance to probably do it. But at that point, like they weren't nearly as important in my life as they are now, and they've been kind of growing over the years on me. So. I'm gonna go see them. I'm already packed. I'm leaving for Arkansas here within, like, tw I think within 20 hours at this. Yeah, easily within 20 hours at this point. Um, so I've already got everything packed. I'm leaving for the airport at six. Fly out at 8:30. Pittsburgh to Charlotte. Charlotte to Little Rock. And then I'm gonna be able to spend some time with my family there for about a week. And I'm really looking forward to that. So this is just gonna be like the perfect send off to going to Arkansas. And I and I cannot wait. I'll take some footage um, at the concert. A little bit it's gonna be pretty pretty condensed because I actually want to sit and enjoy it I don't like taking videos when I'm at concerts I like to enjoy the show but this will be an exception because I'm very excited to share them with you go check out the album landmark they uh, they put that out a few years ago that's in my all-time favorite albums their new album they just put out is called Bambi they're on a, the Bambi tour to promote the album it's growing on me a little bit it's not I don't think it spoke to me quite as immediately as Landmark did, but the more I listen to it, the more I'm really warming up to it and appreciating it more and more. So go check out Landmark, check out the new album Bambi, and just meet these guys, man. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm hoping they're pretty nice. We'll see. See you guys.
Okay, so that was awesome. They uh, I just saw Hippocampus with their, um, I just finished the meet and greet portion. They played a little three song set. It was really cool, it was acoustic. It was kind of like, um, you know, you're in elementary school again. You pull out like a little piece of carpet, everybody sits crisscross, they have the stage and then they play and that was it. And it was really cool. So it lasted about 15 minutes. I guess they're kind of running, running behind schedule a little bit so there was no time for autographs or anything like that. But it was, um, you know, it was still a pretty awesome experience. You know, after they were after they were done playing, you got to like shake their hand, say what's up. Um, I shook everybody's hand, took a quick picture, and I bought some. So I guess what was also included in the thing is you got um, they do these postcards, which they've all signed, and a little button set too. Which I don't really collect buttons, but the buttons are cool and the postcards pretty sweet too. I'll probably frame it. I like the simplicity. It's just uh, it's hard to see. <laughs> I can't do this with stuff in my hand. But I also bought a. This is a, a gigantic poster of their new album, and the artwork is really cool. So it's. They have this pink theme going on with all this merchandise and it's just, so it's just pink and in black it says Bambi and it's got some artwork on it. Right now it is like 545, doors don't open again until 7 and the VIP people get uh, early access to that so what's really cool about um, the venue is that I only live like a 12 minute walk away. You can see it behind me there but I'm a 12 minute walk away so I you know I didn't I didn't drive that would just be silly so I'm just taking all this stuff like back to um back to the house and I'll walk back and what was really cool too was I got um, a lanyard so that's pretty sweet I'll wear this all night hopefully that'll uh, you know get me in the 15 minute early access to get to the actual show because this is one of those shows that I'm actually wanting to get there right when the doors open and get a good spot close up to the front of the stage normally that's not something I give two shits about um, in fact I just don't like being that close to the stage but I mean this is one of those bands that you know I can sing every lyric to every song and I've just been listening to them for so long that yeah it's important for me to get there as soon as I can hop up in front of the stage and get a good spot this AJE is like I'm right, ne right next to Heinz Field because it's where the stage is but pretty awesome night so far man this has been sick it was I'm like still getting over the adrenaline of just being able to like stand next to them and shake their hand say what's up um, they were really nice they couldn't have been kinder the entire time so that was that was pretty cool
Cause you got hours for the fight Maybe just a little bit Enough to make me sick of it But I hide Get the link between the lights now 10 30 and i have seven hours before i have to be up again and on my way to the airport so i may or may not have a voice tomorrow we'll see how that goes i was uh yelling especially towards the end there playing all the bangers so that was awesome hippo campus absolutely did not disappoint they were just as good as i remember them if not better they have more material this time and it's all fantastic so seven hours until i'm gonna be up and headed to the airport and I guess I'll check in there. We'll see how it goes. Busy day, busy day tomorrow. A couple flights. Lit to Charlotte and then Charlotte to no. Pit. Pit to Charlotte. Charlotte to Lit. L I T is the airport code for Little Rock, and that always makes me laugh. Airports airport's lit, fam. See you guys soon.